Okay, so we're looking at classifying matter even further. So this past week we talked about breaking it down into compounds, elements, and mixtures. So now we're going to look even further at mixtures because now if you took all the mixtures and you put them together, you can sort them out into different categories as well. All right, so this is what I was just talking about. So let's just review really quickly. An element, remember, only has one kind of atom. If you could zoom in and look, every atom looks the same. Compounds have two or more elements chemically combined. And a mixture has two or more compounds physically combined, where you can separate them. Like salt water would be a mixture. I could evaporate the water out and have the salt left in the pan. Okay, so it says basically what I just said. I don't need you to write this. You already know this part. Let me stop this video. Sorry. Okay, so it says a mixture consists of two or more substances mixed together only physically, not chemically. It uses salt water as the example. Um, salad would be an example. Raisin bran would be an example. Air is a mixture. All right, so the properties of mixtures, how can you tell something is a mixture? So it says that they keep their separate identities and their own chemical properties. So when I put salt water together, salt is still salt. It still tastes salty. I can tell it's in there. If I were to put sugar in there, I could taste the sugar. It didn't change in any way. There wasn't a chemical reaction. It says the only change that might occur for number two is a physical property. So maybe um, it might physically change in the sense that it would be dissolved. Okay, it can be any amount. I don't have to measure it perfectly. And it can be separated easily or by simple means. All right, so how could I separate coffee with sugar in it? I could boil the coffee out. Iron and sulfur, think about that for a second. How could you separate it if you wanted to just get the iron out? If you guessed magnet, then you're right. That's what you would use. Raisin bran, you would literally just pick the raisins out and you could separate it. Okay, so mixtures are classified by how well mixed they are. If you look at the rock on the left, you can see it's not really well mixed at all. But if you were to make Kool-Aid, even though the Kool-Aid and the water and the sugar are all mixed together, it seems as if it's only one thing. So it's mixed really well. Okay, we'll do this practice in class. This is just, again, making sure you know the difference between an element, a compound, and a mixture. Sorry. Okay, so the first two big main types are either heterogeneous or homogeneous. Heterogeneous means that you can see the different things. It is the least mixed. The particles are large enough for you to tell that they're, they've been mixed together. So the picture on the left would be an example. The other type is homogeneous. It appears to be the same throughout. It is very well mixed. The particles are so small that you can't even tell that it's a mixture. So the picture on the right shows you some steel that has been put together, mixed, mixed together, probably three or four different things to make it, but it all looks the same throughout. A colloid is an example of a homogeneous mixture, and there are a couple types of homogeneous mixtures. The particles are mixed but not dissolved. It says it's usually cloudy and it, was, it doesn't separate upon standing. So your example would be milk. If you look on your milk carton, it says it's homogenized. It's a colloid, and the better way to figure out if something is a colloid is that it's foggy. Okay, so milk, paint, smoke shaving cream, toothpaste, things that are foggy. You can't really see through them. They're cloudy. Um, those are homogenous and um, colloids. A solution is another homogenous mixture because it all looks the same. And we talked about this in your lab today. Something has been dissolved, and it is considered the best mix. And that's because if you dissolve something in your coffee or in your Kool-Aid, when you take a drink, it's not like one drink is super sugary and another drink has no sugar. 
it's completely mixed the same all the way throughout. Okay, so the ocean water is an example. Anytime something that's been dissolved. Sorry. Okay, and so then you can have different kinds of solutions. They're not always liquid, okay? Um, an alloy is where you have two metals that have been melted together to make a, a stronger metal. This is how we would get stainless steel. Um, brass is an example. It's copper and lead melted and blended together as a, a better, stronger metal. Okay, so an alloy is a solution, and a solution is a homogeneous mixture. When you come to class, we'll try to mind map it all out so you can see what leads to what. Okay, which type of mixture would you say milk is? Hopefully you said colloid, raisin bran. Well, I can see the raisins and the bran, so it's heterogeneous. Coffee with sugar in it, sugar's dissolved, so it's a solution. Salad, I can see all the parts, so I would say it's heterogeneous. And air, even though it's a mixture of all the noble gases, it has nitrogen in it, oxygen in it, some pieces of dust are in it. Um, you can't really see all that in the air, so it is homogeneous. Okay, so let's talk about solubility. This is just vocabulary words that you need to know. The word soluble means it can be dissolved. Sugar is soluble. Salt is soluble. Um, insoluble means it cannot be dissolved. Oil, if, if you've ever tried to dissolve it in something, it, you can stir and stir and stir and heat it up and it's still going to separate itself and sit on the top. So it is not dissolvable. It's insoluble. The solute is what we say is the thing that's being dissolved. A solvent is what's doing the dissolving. And water is considered a universal solvent because it can dissolve anything if given enough time, it can dissolve homes. We've seen this in Hurricane Katrina where houses sat in water for weeks and weeks and the walls were dissolved away and the furniture was broken apart and it starts to dissolve anything. Okay, so it says try this. If you have salt water, which is the solute and which is the solvent? Hopefully you chose salt as the solute and water as the solvent. Okay, just watch this video, it only takes a few minutes. These mixtures are heterogeneous. So this type is solutions, are solutions.
she's doing the sulfur and the iron. You saw how it all stuck to the magnet. Okay, well, so that's everything on mixtures, and I will see you guys on Monday.